Good evening, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So tomorrow I start a three-day trip, and that's what this vlog is going to be. But real quick, I did want to give you guys another update, sort of like an extension of this previous video that I filmed. So in this video, I mentioned that we will be moving to Pennsylvania so that we can be closer to family. However, our timeline of when we have chosen to move has definitely moved up. After the funeral that Eric and I attended, it became very apparent to us that he needed to just stay in Pennsylvania because another family member of his has had some health concerns and since Eric can work from home and that's where his parents live that's where his like aunt and uncles and cousins live and just his whole family is out there so we just made the decision as a family me Eric and Luna our little family unit that right now the best thing for him to do is to just stay out in Pennsylvania with his parents so he can be there with his family and for me to immediately immediately put in a transfer to Philadelphia as my new base. So I have done that as flight attendants um, every trip that we work, it originates in one of our bases. So for example, Dallas-Fort Worth is my current base. So every trip that I start and end will be in DFW. And to transfer bases, that basically just means that every trip I would start would be in Philadelphia and every trip would also end in Philadelphia. I also just wanna say thank you to everyone for your outpouring of love and support. I truly believe that we have created one of the kindest, most supportive and loving communities here on YouTube and I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. However, with all of that said, I did speak to my manager and the earliest that I could be awarded a transfer to Philadelphia would be August. And I can't have Luna here with Eric in Pennsylvania when I'm gone for two or three days at a time for my trips. We don't have any family here. We don't have anybody who is able to consistently watch her for us. And also that just doesn't feel fair to her to have her shipped around to different dog sitters or friends while I'm gone. And what if I'm delayed or canceled and I don't get back in time? So it just made a lot more sense for us to bring Luna out to Pennsylvania. So my mom and I actually drove from Fort Worth to Pennsylvania over the weekend so that Luna could be there with Eric and his parents. So we just loaded her up in the car and we drove to Pennsylvania. So she is out there now with Eric. It feels so weird being in our apartment right now without Eric and Luna here. But you know what? It is just best for her to be there until I can get my transfer to Philadelphia and then we will all be together again as a family. But obviously on my days off, I will of course fly up there to be with them and then come August, at least I hope it's going to be August, we should be able to fully move out there. This was clearly not a move or a change that we were anticipating. If you would have asked us even three weeks ago if we had plans to move, we would have said no. But family comes first and we are just going to embrace this next chapter of our life together. I am absolutely exhausted though. I drove with my mom over 22 or 23 hours from Dallas to Pennsylvania. We stayed one night and then we both had to fly back home. I had to fly back here to Dallas and then my mom had to fly home to Las Vegas because we both have work tomorrow. So it was a very, very quick and exhausting trip but it was well worth it. And yeah, I am gonna go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow morning as I'm getting ready for my trip. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6.15 a.m. I just have to put my uniform on and then I'm ready to head out the door and go to work. Today is day one of a three-day trip.
I just pulled up to the employee parking lot. We have three flights today. The first is from Dallas to Oklahoma City, and then we come right back. We go Oklahoma City, right back to Dallas-Fort Worth, and then we go from Dallas to Salt Lake City, Utah. I am very excited for this layover. As many of you know, my younger sister, Alicia, lives in Salt Lake City, Utah, so we're gonna get to hang out, and it's gonna be a great day. I just got to our hotel in Salt Lake City, Utah. All of our flights were good today, the first two. So DFW to Oklahoma City and then Oklahoma City back to Dallas. Each flight was only 35 minutes long and then our flight from Dallas here to Salt Lake City was two hours and 12 minutes long. It's been a good day, life is golden. That is what my t-shirt says. The top right here says life is and then golden and it has a golden retriever right here. My sister actually gave me this t-shirt a while ago so I thought it was very fitting to wear it today because I get to see her. This window is dirty but hopefully you guys can still get a really nice view of these mountains. It is just so beautiful and definitely my favorite part about Utah is the mountain scenery. Real quick let me give you guys a little room tour. We have two queen size beds. I've already started unpacking as you can tell and then across from the beds we have a desk and a TV and then over here this is so nice. We have a fridge and a microwave and then there's a little coffee maker right here too. And then we have a full length mirror right here that leads into the closet. And we have the bathroom through here. I love bathrooms that have a lot of counter space. It's really nice for getting ready in the morning. And then we just have the shower right here. Okay, I am going to text my sister and tell her that I am ready to go. Um, I do wish this layover was longer. Unfortunately, we have to wake up so early tomorrow. Our van time is 4.20 a.m. So that is not the best. Um, I wish we would have gotten in a little bit earlier because I would have loved to have gone on a hike because the weather is so beautiful today. But to be honest, I'm also just so grateful that I have any time here at all to be with my sister. Take a train ride just to see you Ride for hours just to please you You don't know how much I need you Cause you're my home away from <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so happy. Hi! Good morning, everybody. It is currently 3.35 a.m. You guys, it is so early in the morning. I really struggled to get out of bed this morning. I slept great, but when my alarm went off, it was very, very, very difficult to force myself to get out of bed just because it is so dang early. But it's worth it because yesterday I had so much fun with my sister. I wish I could have stayed here longer, but I'm just really grateful for the layover that I did get to have and the time that I did get to have with her. But now it's time to get back to work. Today we have two flights. We are going from Salt Lake City back to DFW, and then we have to sit at the airport for two hours and 45 minutes, which I'm the type of person where I would just rather stay on the plane and just go, 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 like get to our destination rather than getting off the plane and having a bunch of time in between flights. <clears throat> My voice is kind of scratchy this morning, probably because I'm still waking up, but um, yeah, so we go back to DFW. We have to sit at the airport for two hours and 45 minutes, which at least we'll have time to go get food, so there's that. And then we go to Fresno, California from there. So I'm going to finish getting ready and then I will talk to you guys later.
So after my workout, I ate dinner and got some editing done. And since then, I have been reading this book called Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And oh my goodness, you guys, if you even like a hint of fantasy, you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to read this book. Look how cool the side is too. It's dragons on the side. What this book is about is a war college where the kids go to this college and they learn how to ride dragons. And they're sort of an army, like they defend their land and they defend their villages and stuff. And it is just such an awesome mix of The Hunger Games, Divergent, and Harry Potter. It feels like if all three of those books slash movies had a baby this would be it it is addicting it is so good i am just devouring this book i i'm serious if you like fantasy even just a little bit you have to pick up this book it is currently eight o'clock and we do have to get up really early again tomorrow our van time i think is 4 55 a.m to head to the airport so i really need to be trying to go to bed within the next hour Good morning, everybody. It is day three, which means it is our last day of the trip, and we only have one flight home today, and that is from Fresno back to DFW. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I slept so well last night. As soon as I put my book down and my head hit the pillow, I knocked out. So I feel very well rested and ready to get back. I put my camera on top of a lamp because my arm was getting really tired holding out like this. It is 4.32 right now and our pickup is at 4.55. So I just have to go brush my teeth, get my uniform on, finish picking up my room, and then I'll be ready to go. So I will see you guys probably when I get back to Dallas. I am obviously back home now. I was so tired when I got home from my trip yesterday that I just didn't do anything. I laid on the couch all day and read. I did finish Fourth Wing, which was amazing. Absolutely loved it. So again, if you like fantasy, I highly recommend reading that book. Um, what else is going on today? I just finished working out. I made a video live, a day off in my life. Um, I need to run a few errands and pack because I do have another trip starting tomorrow morning. And then after this trip, I'm gonna fly to Pennsylvania so I can be with Eric and Luna. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video and for just supporting me and my channel. It really does mean the world to me. So if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you again in future videos. I hope that you all are having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye.